Imagine sitting in your room talking to people in distant lands. Imagine hearing world events as they happen. Listening to far off places with strange names. Imagine hearing a voice crackle through the air calling you. Come, talk, be a friend. It's your world out there. Say hello. Hello, I am WG4Y. Hi, I'm KB1KJC. That's Kilo Bravo 1, Kilo Juliet Charlie. Early attempts at sending voices over the air were unintelligible, but on December 24, 1906, Reginald Fessenden shocked radio operators all across the North Atlantic who heard his voice coming from their radios, saying hello to them and wishing them Merry Christmas. Fessenden's historic feat caused inquisitive hobbyists to join those experimenting with this new technology called radio. They were and are still called amateur radio operators. We invite you to discover what amateur radio offers in the 21st century. Hello. Jack, W8ISH. Hello. Making friends around the world, talking to another ham via an orbiting satellite, or swapping call signs with hams in over 100 countries in a single weekend. Volunteers save lives as part of their involvement in an emergency response. Talking from Chicago to the Carolinas with a pocket-sized handheld radio. This unique mix of fun, public service, and convenience is amateur radio. Amateur radio operators come from all walks of life. Rock stars, missionaries, astronauts, doctors, students, politicians, truck drivers, and just plain folks. They're all ages, income levels, and nationalities. Amateur radio operators have continued to be in the forefront of developing technologies years in advance of when they're rolled out to the public. FM, television, mobile telephones, and VOIP technologies were all used by amateur radio operators years ahead of the public. Whether the preference is Morse code, voice communication, or computerized messages, amateur radio is where an average person can, using their own gear, talk freely across town or around the world to others. Hello. Hello. I am DL1 BDF, Delta Lima 1, Bravo, Delta, Florida. Basic study materials for passing the FCC test and getting your first license usually cost less than $40. There are also licensed classes held by many local groups for people who want more personal help. If possible, taking part in one of these classes is the best way to go, but there's even an online course you can take if you prefer. Once you have your first license, it usually costs less than $200 to get your first radio and start saying hello. Founded in 1914, the 150,000-member American Radio Relay League is the national association for amateur radio in the USA. Other countries have their own national organizations. The ARRL is a primary source of information about what is going on in the ham radio world. It provides books, news, support, and information for individuals and clubs. For 100 years, the magic of human voice over the radio has brought imaginations to life. It opened a whole new era of human communication. It's your world. Get on the radio and say hello. To learn more, go to www.helloradio.org.